The bond market isn't exactly confirming this alleged equity new bull market, is it? Well, I mean, if you look at relative value across fixed income, we haven't seen these type of levels going all the way back to the global financial crisis. Um, you know, right now you have discount dollar prices, you have high, uh, high yield yielding eight and a half, bank loans giving you about 9%, IG corporates at five and a half percent. So it's a great time to be dollar cost averaging in, Scott, because you know, your total returns, that's what we are a total return player looking for appreciation and yield hasn't been better going back, you know, almost 14 years. So there's definitely value in fixed income. So that was just a take on bonds in general. Um, and you can see, of course, uh, the recommendation is just maybe to dollar cost average at these prices that the, they have right now with the yield that the bonds uh, have. Uh, so but we look at the, um, the, the one of the one of the uh, most popular and one of the solid bond is uh, BND, which is Vanguard total bond market. So we're going to look at this bond and if it's a time for you to buy at this, uh, these prices and these yields. So overview, we'll look at the performance and a fee. We'll look at the we'll look at portfolio composition. We'll look at distribution. And end of the day, we're going to look at the analysis of this bond going forward. Um, so we look at uh, Vanga total bond market. The price is right now it's uh, 68, uh, 71. Of course, within 52 week range has been uh, 67.99 to 74.90. Uh, the volume is on over six million, you know, share traded on a daily basis. Uh, well, uh, expense ratio is only 0.3, so it's a pretty good. It's very uh, solid when it comes to uh, this, uh, the, the fee that you're paying for holding this bond. 0 0.03, very cheap. Uh, inception date of this fund was uh, incepted in 2007, just before market crash, and uh, the price range of today. Uh, if we look at we stre stretch all the way year uh, one year we look it was at uh, seventy dollars of course uh, and now is sixty eight so it hasn't changed that much I think altogether um, it's it's almost flat it's about uh, point sixty eight point eighty four um, less than one percent down what it was a year ago and that's what bond is more. Uh, it's it's just a ballast in your portfolio because it doesn't crash as much as equity. You know we know the S&P is down massively. Where the bond doesn't didn't go down as much. Uh, product summary. So you have to understand what BND actually does. Um, and by the way, if it's your first time, just make sure you subscribe uh, because on this channel I always talk about uh, things like, uh, of course, ETFs and uh, analysis and anything related to your finance. Um, you know if you want to also stay in the loop if there are any changes anything like that. Um, you know it's very important for you to. Uh, follow you know um so you can get updated and also uh, if you find this content it's helpful to you just make sure you give me a thumb up so um the fund investment objective is to seek uh, and track performance of a broad market weighted bar bond index the fund generally right uh, it provide exposure to tax sub investment grade of US dollar dominated bond market excluding inflation protected and tax exempt bonds. So the things like uh, municipality bond, of course, this does not invest in those ones, excluding those. Um, and the tip, which is um, uh, inflation protected uh, bonds, it does invest in those ones. Uh, it's relatively high potential for investment income and share value tend to rise and fall modestly depends on the uh, it depends on the interest rate at that moment interest rate goes up bond will fall price of bond you know i'm talking about and of course when interest rate fall then this bond will rise that's what they're talking about here maybe um more appropriate for me mid and midterm a uh, medium and long-term goal where you're looking for a reliable income stream uh, and also is appropriate for uh, diversifying uh as your portfolio so if you have a you know of course uh, you know stock portfolio of 80 percent you might put maybe 20 percent in bonds that's bond is usually more a diversifier we look at performance and fees uh that uh, total return meaning including your uh, dividend that you've received and also adjusted to inflation uh we look at uh, bnd market right now has returned a point uh minus 0.88 so almost flat uh we look at that we extend one year so 73 three years is five percent uh five years a uh, three years five percent five years is a point 14 10 year has returned about one percent and since inception in total has returned about a 2.64 about like a three percent um we look at expense ratio it's only 0 0.03 so bear in mind this bond is very cheap compared to other bonds so you look average expense ratio of a similar funds uh it's 
point fifty eight, so more than a uh, half a percentage. So that's a big if you have a lot of money invested in this, you know. So this is very cheap, point zero three, and that's a reputation for any Vanguard funds. They're always cheaper, and that's why most people are most people love these, are uh, fond of these uh, bonds, uh, these uh, ETFs from Vanguard. We're going to look at a uh, portfolio composition. What does this portfolio composed of? Uh, what does it invest on? So first of all, when you look at risk and style, it's a medium, medium risk, of course. Uh, those are number of bonds, um, you know, uh, 10,000, uh, seven, uh, over 10,000. We'll look at the yield to maturity right now. It's about 5%. But on average, coupon is about 3.1%. Uh, and then um, average maturity is uh, eight years. Uh, BND tough, of course. Uh, benchmark is about eight point four. So average duration is six point eight. This all means it's just a fund that the bonds that they invest are under. So it's something that you don't have to worry too much. All you care about is uh, how much you're getting. You know, yield maturity is about five point uh, three. Uh, right now we're getting a uh, three point one. We're going to look at weighted exposure, uh, what these bonds invest in. It does invest in U.S. government, about 67%. It's U.S. government, AAA, um, uh, it's a 3.8. So these means in AAA is more of like a companies, you know, like uh, all these bond, the rest is they're just like a regular company like Apple, Microsoft, and, uh, you know, Walmart and any companies that they invest under. We'll look at the AA is a 3%. Uh, the bigger one is A, which is uh, 12.60. And the reason why they kind of exposure, we know the U.S. government, of course, is more of a reliable. That's going to pay as long as they're taxpayers. The, the government will always going to have money to pay uh, back their, uh, of course, their loan. They, uh, they loaned. Uh, when it comes to companies, depends on if they go bankrupt. So the lower you go, the lower grade of the companies you go, the higher they pay in yield. So that's why in order to get those higher yield, they have to invest in something like a BB, which is a little bit lower grade as compared to triple A. So that, of course, is 13% and A is only, uh, you know, 12.60 and AA is 3.20. Triple uh, A, it's eighty. So you can see they kind of mix the good mixture there in order to kind of mitigate the risk versus yield. We we'll look at distribution. Um, it does pay monthly dividends. Um, so this is from uh, we can see here the first uh, the, the, the for this year. Of course, what he paid in December. This is for January. Of course, he paid December uh, twenty nine twenty. Uh, 2022 and then he pays it paid in uh, february march april may june july august september and october was october 5th was the last date they pay so of course you in november 5th 6th between that date you're going to receive another payment and they you can see the payment kind of varies uh, you know um it was a 17 16 18 uh, 17 so it keeps changing based on how much the maturity and uh, of course the yield is so right now they pay about one um, 19 cents and that's what you're going to be receiving per share so that equates to about a 3.4 percent now let's look at analysis um trading central highlights we look at the short term it's a very strong bullish evidence we we'll look at intermediate term bond. We we'll look at the bullish evidence, and we we'll look at the long term bond is bearish evidence because the um, longer you go, of course, there's more risk, and it seems that because there's very uncertain uncertainty when it comes to uh, interest rate and how are they going to impact in the future. But we we'll look at the near future; it's a very bullish and support resistant. When we we'll look at support and resistance, support found at sixty eight fifty three resistance found at 72 uh 62 so that means support when he hits at the this level it doesn't go down more and then when he hits at this level it doesn't go up more that's what this means so and then the stock price is a 67 uh 94 based on um recognia trailing stop uh for short position is 69 58 so those are the technical you have. So if we come back to this chart and we extend uh, again, we look at in 2008, BND went all the way to uh, 73 after coming to the highest of 78. 
um of course at that time that was a market crash and we know the uh bond uh bond yield uh, start uh, the fed of course lower the rate uh, and then uh, and then of course after that uh the the stock uh took off it came up again in December of 2008 and it kept going up and it stayed sturdy that then it went all the way at one point all the way to 89 almost 90 dollars uh, in June 2020 uh, right now is at 68 this is the lowest this bond has ever been uh, in its history so when the Fed right now uh, keep raising rate of course this bond will will and may keep falling down more but once they stop and start uh, uh, bringing those rate down this uh, fund uh, BND uh, will um, go up. So the yield that you're getting, of course, right now about three to five percent, and the uh, appreciation that will uh, greatly uh, impact the portfolio to upside. So I just wanted to give you an update on Vanguard or Bond Market Index Fund or BND. Uh, it's a price movement and what's going to happen once the rate are coming down. So if you find value uh, in this video today, uh, just uh, make sure you give me a thumb up like this video um and if you uh haven't subscribed and you want to stay in the loop you don't miss any update of these funds or any other type of funds uh, just make sure you subscribe uh so thank you very much for watching till we meet again on next video bye bye